invite uh, Mr. Dor uh, Dorian Laka. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And this is Louis Gelling. Yes. Come, uh, coming from Australia. So the web page, very nice web page, very nice ladies. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you are also there <laughs> with your colleague. Yeah. So they are not just the ladies, of course. They are yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, okay. So greetings. Uh, so uh, get ready to be inspired. Uh, uh, and we invite two incredible uh, individuals to the stage. Please uh, give warm round uh, of applause to Dorian Laka. Uh, talent Solution Business Partner at the Female Factor. Uh, uh, then uh, let's also welcome Louis Gelling, mentoring at the Female Factor, who will share uh, their insights of the network effect, uh, amplifying career, uh, career success through connections. So uh, get ready for engage, <laughs> engaging a session that celebrates the accomplishment and challenges faced by women in various fair. Thank you very much. The stage is yours. Uh, <laughs> no worries. Wow. What an interesting string of topics we heard tonight, right? And uh, quite a lot of the audience as well. Good evening, Tech Jobs Fair. We're very happy to be here. And uh, as we might know, this is the last panel of today, right? You've been hearing amazing topics throughout the day, but we're here to close it. And we thought we could maybe do something different for you, right? So as you might have heard in the introduction, the word network kind of came up, right? And we're not referring to network in IT terms, right? We wanted to do something different and kind of give you some tips and equip you with some valuable kind of insights into how to make and kind of pull the most out of the networking session coming up right after our chat today, right? Exactly, but I wanted to first kick off and ask the audience, who here finds networking awkward? Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, and we feel you, and wow, it was quite a lot of hands in the audience, and it's totally fine. Uh, on that note, um, don't worry, we're basically here to kind of uh, soothe that out for you and in general uh, give you valuable tips on how to harness the power of networking and uh, then kind of connect it to communities and tell you how you can use this, uh, the aspect of networking to propel your career forward, especially in tech. Exactly. And just to reiterate our wonderful introduction from uh, earlier, my name is Louise Gelling. I am the mentoring lead here at the, uh, at the Female Factor, which means I take care of our mentoring program and do a lot of work within our community to help boost uh, career opportunities. And uh, as mentioned also, I'm Dorian Laka. I'm the Talent Solutions Business Partner at the Female Factor, which I know can be a bit confusing. So what does Talent Solutions Business Partner mean? It, I'm basically the bridge between our global talent community and employers are seeking to uh, basically hire top diverse talent, right? But more on that maybe a bit later. So you're probably all wondering, what is the female factor? And why are we here, particularly when we have quite a diverse uh, audience with us this evening? The female factor, we are a global community focused on helping female talents uh, get into leadership positions. We do this through a variety of different uh, processes. We have a wonderful community. We offer professional development programs such as mentoring. And we also work a lot with uh, interesting corporate partners as well. So with the aim. <laughs> Sorry. Especially in the field of tech, right? Especially, especially. So as I mentioned, uh, while we do primarily focus on female leaders, uh, everything we have to say in today's presentation is relevant uh, no matter how you choose to identify. Absolutely. And it was really, really interesting. Uh, Dorian and I met up last night to, to run over our presentation and we met a really good friend of ours and we were chatting and she was talking all about this new role that she got as okay. CEO of a social media marketing company that's setting up uh, its location in Austria. And she mentioned how she got that through a friend of a friend through various discussions. I'm like, hmm, that sounds mm -hmm. very interesting. I'm going to tuck that little piece of information away. I think that's Maybe very I relevant. Want an introduction to that friend. <laughs> exactly. And like, can I also have an introduction, please? Yeah. 
Exactly. And uh, in this case, uh, yeah, so our friend, she landed a very good leadership role, a CEO role through the power of networking, right? And it all comes down to networking at the end of the day. And, you know, this is a term that we hear on a daily basis. Wherever you turn, especially, you know, within our careers today, it's all about networking and whatever tip you ask, you know, for connections, network, network, network. But like, the real question is how do you exactly network here, right? And yeah, I know I had so many, so much confusion over this from the moment I graduated university, everyone was telling me, build your network, it's gonna help your career. I'm like, okay, sounds good. I expected this to happen really organically and kind of like, you know, you meet people like you meet friends. And so I was kind of building my career slowly and then boom, I moved from Australia to Austria. I knew no one and I was expected to find a job, build a life, build a career here. And that's when I really started to understand the value of having a network. It really is pretty stark when you don't have one. That's <laughs> yeah, and I can only second what you're saying. I'm also an expat living here in Austria, and I came all the way from teeny tiny North Macedonia. And <laughs> I came here not knowing, uh, you know, the language. I can speak very little German or Austrian, and I was also facing the same issue. I came here with zero network and feeling totally lost. You know, obviously, I knew I had my ambitions and what I, my plans and what I wanted to do, but I had zero network. And wherever I turned, people would. As I said earlier, tell me, oh, try networking, try this, try talking to this person, you know, and once again, about the networking, I was just stuck on the how. Yeah, you know, it's easy to tell someone, yeah, just go network, but how? What is the best way to approach this and to yield maximum? So before we get into our advice, our three key pieces of advice for today, I do want to acknowledge the elephant in the room that yes, networking is awkward. We saw it, so many of us find it awkward, but we are really hoping that with our tips today that we can help you kind of get over this awkwardness and like anything with practice makes perfect or uber like nicer. That's why since I've moved to Austria. So now that we kind of locked it in, networking is awkward and can be awkward. Uh, I guess we can proceed with some three actionable tips and kind of action steps that you can take to kind of at least soothe that out yeah. and mend into it a bit better, right? So my personal number one is always uh, find a community, right? And the topic of networking is directly tied with the topic of community. Uh, and I highly recommend finding a community uh, and basically starting from that point on, right? Now, uh, communities are full of like-minded people. They offer a kind of like this atmosphere of sharing ideas, sharing knowledge, and more or less kind of sharing opportunities with each other. Now, um, an interesting example is uh, through our community, uh, the Female Factors community, we had a case where uh, two members, they had no idea who they were before, they met through some of our events, right? Eventually they started kind of hanging out, and uh, today they co-started uh, a startup, and it's kind of this full circle beautiful moment there, right? And also on that topic, we've also had so many cases where community members, uh, we've seen them land jobs literally just by networking around and kind of using this environment, the environment of a community, right? But uh, I guess the question here is how? How do you join a community? And like, you know, obviously I can shamelessly plug our own community here, but in general, there's so many communities, especially here in Austria and basically wherever you turn, that can offer you such a space, right? It's all about being proactive and uh, kind of knowing and being aware of what you stand for, what you want to engage in and the direction in which you want to go, right? And yeah, just again, some few examples to be more concrete. I know uh, Austrian Startups is a really good community. Uh, if anyone's still studying, ISAC is a great community. And I was pleasantly reminded while I was waiting to come on stage that the Vecker oh, also have an innovation community as well that they recently uh, started up as well. So uh, there are plenty of, uh, definitely plenty of opportunities for uh, finding communities that fit right for you, particularly if you uh, don't necessarily identify as a female factor community member. second kind of point that we wanted to uh, present to you this evening is how helpful it can be to have a mentor in building your network. So I'm a mentor in the female factor. It's literally my job. I could go on and on and on all day, all evening about how useful mentoring is in general. Um, 
but we have to talk about networks. So um, more specifically, a mentor is really, really useful to open doors and to help connect you with their network. Um, whether it's, you know, they might have a hiring manager at a company that you know you're interested in uh, applying for, or, you know, they can connect you with a, you know, expert in your yeah, field of interest, absolutely. particularly in the area of tech, like if you were so nuanced and so wide, that, you know, knowing someone who knows someone in this particular industry can be, it can just make everything, the whole process so much easier. Um, it's also great because that means there's someone to vouch for you. It's a reference within a reference mm -hmm. in a way. So mm -hmm. you are uh, your mentor is your kind of your referee because you know most of the time people don't refer people lightly. So if you have that time to develop with a mentor and um, get them to know you, and then they can vouch for you, which is absolutely fantastic. But like anything. The how. How do you get a mentor? Yeah, good question. <laughs> <laughs> it seems so easy. Louise, go, you know, just go get a mentor. Um, of course, you can join the Female Factor where we offer a mentoring program, which is one uh, twice a year. And we have lots of wonderful like, mentors who are in the tech field and working for companies, say, like Google, uh, working in the space of AI, and uh, who've done, you know, their own tech startups and things like that. Um, but, you know, there you, know, you can utilize the communities that I just previously mentioned to find uh, mentors. A lot of them have uh, programs uh, associated with them as well. But it's uh, even, you know, even easier to just sometimes approach a leader that you admire and ask them, hey, can you mentor me? Absolutely. And that's totally okay. It's totally acceptable. I know it might be a bit kind of... It's a bit of a longer route to take, a bit more of a... Little bit, process, little bit. Yeah. I mean, because they can always say no, absolutely. but what but if they say yes? Exactly, and you know what? That can tremendously change the trajectory of your career. You know, through our own data and coming out of our mentoring program, we've seen that 50% of people who do go to a mentoring program, right, do end up with a promotion a year after. Even we've seen people climb multiple promotions within a year only because they had this guide that boosted their confidence, competence, connections, and kind of opened the door to this whole wider career path for them, right? And it all started with finding a mentor. And in my role, I get email after email about how our this mentee has been connected with someone who, you know, then they got their dream job. This happens, it's, it's one of the you know, great perks of, of my job and I see it every day and I, I look at the data, I see that I crunch the numbers all the mm -hmm. time. And I was also just reminded that our own CEO, uh, Mardis, actually, uh, her mentor that she works with, because uh, you never, even when you're a leader, it's never, yep. you can always learn more. She actually approached her after a conference like this and asked her to be a mentor. So mm -hmm. it's as simple as that. It, it can be done and we've seen it done Absolutely. quite easily. And I guess on that note, um, you know, we kind of covered how to enter a community, we covered how to perhaps get a mentor in that sense and the importance of these two, but also, you know, once you go through those two dots and once you start putting yourself in such situations and really putting yourself out there, putting uh, yourself in front of what you stand by, kind of sharing your insights, sharing your passions, so on and so forth, you're basically slowly but surely working on your personal brand, right? Which in combination with the two points which you mentioned before, can be incredible and you know it's all about standing behind your passion uh it will start attracting like-minded people and even people that don't agree with your points necessarily but it doesn't matter because like it still kind of facilitates uh, people gravitating towards you and sharing opinions and all of a sudden you have a network right yeah they know what you're about so when they connect with you mm -hmm. it's pretty clear yeah absolutely and you know um so the bread and butter of my daily work is obviously talking to companies and kind of trying to figure out what's the best way to connect them to talent, right? And I've had so many conversations where, um, you know, I'm talking to recruiters and they would share with me that for them it's so important to find talents that have a strong background behind them, of course, but more importantly, a strong network, a nice solid personal branding, and at the same time, kind of like a plateau of knowledge behind them, right? And uh, yeah, this is why and they keep sharing that they love kind of finding these communities and tapping into these communities, you know, because yeah. it creates like this very nice full circle moment, it kind of, you know, there's talents in the community, they share their knowledge, tips and so on and so forth. And then once, uh, once companies, organizations tap into such communities, sponsor those communities, you know, and really pack them up, it creates a beautiful circle uh, where it's mutually beneficial for everybody, right? Absolutely. With that said, so those are our kind of three overall 
pieces of advice, but we wanted to uh, actually leave you guys with some, something a little bit more concrete that you can maybe even apply in the, the session that comes after us. So we're going to run you through about, what is it, five? I think five seems to be the, uh, yeah. the number of the day um, today. So we're going to run you through five tips that uh, really can help, help you to boost your confidence with networking. Absolutely. Number one, of course, be authentic. So it's all about being authentic and being true to yourself. And uh, in general, people appreciate that, people notice it. And at the end of the day, uh, you are going to thank yourself a lot more, you know? Absolutely. And uh, for tip number two, I always like to uh, have my conversation starters ready to go. So, uh, and also some follow up questions I can mm -hmm. always ask in case, like, you know, conversation slows and things like that. Um, I always like to kind of start off with, you know, depending on the context, like today, oh, what brought you to this conference or event today? It's a really great open-ended question. Uh, you can talk about, you can ask about the speakers, uh, who did you see today, um, and things like that. But this also follows the kind of related tip is to ask questions. Keep asking questions. Uh, people love talking. So Absolutely. Ask those questions and have your conversation starters ready. My other tip, I guess, would be to follow up. So let's say you had a great networking session at an event, right? And you met some amazing leaders, you had great conversations and cool, but what then, you know? It's about following up, uh, perhaps messaging on LinkedIn or wherever you message, you know, and kind of keep the conversation going. And I feel like in that way, it kind of transcends between, you know, meeting somebody in private, like in person, you know, and then kind of taking that online as well, you know, especially after the pandemic. And yeah. And, and people really appreciate this and it feeds into your personal brand as well because yep. if you if you mention it during conversation hey i heard about that job opportunity at that company and then you follow up with that person and you go hey i remember how i said about this job opportunity Here, here's the link um it, you know it shows shows you follow up it, it, you know yep. people you get a reputation for being reliable and things like that so it's really important Again, as Dorian said a quick message on linkedin also to say hey lovely to meet you at this conference i hope we can connect again so, you know, it really matters, follow yeah, up. It's absolutely. a little, little thing, but it can make such, such an impact. Plus, you, I feel like you're kind of setting in stone the relationship you created during this event, right? Yeah. And so that brings us to tip number four, which is kind of after you've, you know, established your network, how to tap into your network. This is always the part I, I struggled with and felt like uh, the most about. So particularly when, when tapping into your network, I always advise to be, um, Respectful. <laughs> it's it's at the end of the day. My 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 brain's a little bit tired, so it was to be respectful and appropriately curious. And what I mean by this is, don't be afraid to reach out, but do it in a way that is not so. Um, I want to say self-serving. So what I mean by this, an, an example would be. Uh, hi Dorian, I met you at the conference uh, a few months ago. Uh, I know you work with Female Factor. Uh, do you have any positions open at the moment or something mm -hmm. like that? Not, hey Dorian, uh, I want to work at Female Factor. Can you hook me up? Or just directly uh, uploading the CV. Exactly, or just sending the CV straight to the person. No, like, you know, open the conversation uh, up for, for that discussion because they might know the hiring manager. They might be able to tell you who, who, can, who they... Uh, who you can connect to, but you don't come across as being completely self-serving. So, um, and that said, don't underestimate the power of get, catching up for a coffee as well. Invite someone out to the coffee. Uh, talk about your career, your goals, opportunities. A lot can happen during brunch, Absolutely. and especially coffee. Even if it's a 15-minute coffee, a lot can happen. Trust us. <laughs> Which brings me to our last point, our final point for the day, is be prepared to reciprocate. So networking and utilizing your network is not uh, just about uh, taking uh, what you need to develop your career, it's also about giving. So when the time comes, if someone asks you for a connection, for a link, for an introduction, utilize it. Because yep. again, this also helps uh, build your brand as being reliable, authentic, um, of course, within reason, uh, but absolutely be prepared to, to give back. So it can also feel pretty good if you're the reason absolutely. why and someone got that job. <laughs> somewhere, al somewhere along the line, it can always come back and kind of reward you for it, right? I've absolutely. had a few situations where I uh, practically introduced people to other people and then I kind of saw the merit of it right afterwards. Yeah. Maybe a couple of, you know, quite a bit of time. Yeah, exactly. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing. So. 
So that's it. Yeah, I mean, I think we can spend hours and hours blabbering all about this and, you know, the effect of networking and so on and so forth, but just like to maybe summarize the points and uh, conclude the session here today, and then of course, let's do network as per the plan. Uh, I'm just gonna recap a few points. Number one is uh, don't underestimate the power of community and networking within a community, right? Uh, number two, mentors are a great source of guidance and could open a lot of doors for you, especially in the field of tech. We've seen that, it's been proven, we have so much data on it, and yeah, do not underestimate that. And number three, your personal brand is as equally important as the previous two points, right? Exactly, couldn't have summarized it better myself. So uh, that said, uh, can we like skip to our final slide, <laughs> maybe? So that said, uh, don't forget to check out The Female Factor. If you are interested, we have a, uh, it's our community that's waiting for you. Uh, we have a wonderful code here. You can uh, scan our code. We'll also have um, some flyers uh, floating around as well. We have a wonderful discount code for you today that you will get one month free on your, on your membership with us. So please utilize this. Of course, you can find us at femalefactor.global. Please connect with uh, Dorian and myself on LinkedIn. We're always happy to answer any questions you may have uh, about networking, about community, about mentoring, about uh, talent solutions for, for employers. Uh, we are absolutely here. So. That being said, we're very much looking forward to seeing you hopefully apply some of these tips. Uh, we also hope that this kind of like eased up the situation a bit, you know, and opened up some ideas that you could utilize, uh, especially within the field of tech. It's such a competitive talent climate, both on a B2B and also on a talent uh, side, right? So it's important to utilize these tips that we said today in order to really propel your career forward and also open up opportunities for yourself. You deserve it. So at the end of the day, thank you all for the attention. Thank and you so yeah. much. And thank, thank you. you Tech Jobs Fair as well for, for having us thank today. <laughs> I think uh, now is the nice atmosphere to ask uh, 